All right, so I'm going to give you some basic tips today on uh, using Coder Z. Uh, one, if you're not using a, a computer uh, or a Chromebook, it's not going to work. So definitely you need to be using one of those two tools. Uh, and again, if you don't have access to one of those two things, um, you need to contact the school. They'll set up a pickup time. If there's any available left, uh, they should be able to get something for you. Um, so I'm going to give you just some a couple quick, just a quick tip on on kind of maneuvering around this space. I'm going to switch because this one is a little less. So uh, when you start up a lesson, you're going to see the loading screen. But then um, I'm going to give you some tips for how to kind of look around the space that might help you a little bit with uh, finding what you are, uh, figuring out what you're trying to do, figuring out how you're supposed to maneuver your robot around. Uh, and cutting down some of the pieces. So um, up here on the top side, there's the option to make a trail. There's the option for manual control. So you can actually use the arrow keys to drive your robot around, which is useful when you start learning to use the sensors. So uh, you can click on this one and it will show you all your sensor displays. And then it will tell me how far I've gone. Um, I can use the motors and figure out how much distance this is. I can time it out to figure out how long it's going to take. Um, and I can also use the um, use this piece to go full screen. So I can click here, full screen. If you uh, right-click, you can zoom in and out. You can maneuver around the space so you can see a little better uh, with some of the things you're trying to get. And the scroll, the wheel will let you zoom in and out. Um, if you're using a mouse, if not, it's two fingers in or out for your Chromebook. Um, and if you, like I said, two fingers push and hold with Chromebook to get you to zoom in or out, or I mean to maneuver around the space. So uh, that's just a way to, to do a little more with the uh, with the actual controls. If you need to go back to the split screen, it's here. Um, and like I said, this will give you all the displays for your different pieces, um, different sensors, motors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, allow you to do it by hand so you can test those things out. Put your trail on so you can see what's happening in front of you and behind you. And speed it up or slow it down. Um, all those control options will help you when you're going to uh, maneuver your robot around the screen. And if you get stuck, there's also this light bulb here for tips. And then, of course, you can always reach out to me for help. All right. Uh, any other questions? Like I said, just post them here.